Hey buddy Pixel here, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last time episode in the last time, in the last episode, we caught ourselves Suicune, a Pokemon that we first met here in Ecroteak City quite a while ago. This time, we have a little bit more to do regarding legendaries, and I figure a good place to start is in the town where all the legendary cool legendaries seem to hang out of Ecroteak. If we head here after getting the Rainbow Wing in Pewter City, I see. That's the Ecroteak Gym Badge. The badge alone will not do any good, but I can let you through. Please do go on. Don't have to worry. This is not Pokemon Crystal, and you will not be forced to fight any trio of trainers to get here. This place is so beautiful. And it has no music at all to accompany it. This is the only place we ever see these trees, these leaves, this road. It looks so good. The legendary Pokemon did not choose me. But that does not mean I have lost out on my future. I will continue my training until I discover a new future for me. Say, do you want to be part of my training? From time to time, you will find gym leaders around all over. On specific nights, if you get their phone numbers, you can call them and they will ask if you want a rematch. They will appear in the dojo in Saffron City in the Kanto region and you can rematch them there. For now though, we have work to do in the Bell Tower. That thing you have. You've done it. Please come through. I would like to put up a super repel. A ton of low level Pokemon are going to be appearing on the upper floors and it is going to be a pain in the ass without a repel. Welcome to the bell tower. This is our puzzle! Yeah, this is so much better than the Whirl Islands. And this is what Heart Gold players had to go through first. What did they do to deserve a better puzzle? I don't know, but clearly they did something right. Let's see. This will take us to the center platform. Which will take us over here. I don't know this puzzle. I have not done this side quest in a very long time because well, partially I was saving, uh, just saving it so I could kind of be blind-ish when I recorded it. But also just because I really don't care for this dungeon. I know I just gave it praise saying this is a better puzzle than the World Islands and that's definitely true. And this isn't a bad puzzle by any means, this is actually, like, it makes you think. It makes you think and you have to use your brain to solve it, but... I'm personally just not a fan of using my brain. Which you may call me a hypocrite for my opinions before in the Vermilion City Gym, but... Not liking to use my brain doesn't mean I'm not allowed to say what is and is not a puzzle. Because that is not a puzzle. That is still just baseless. Look around, maybe you'll find the right thing eventually. We got escape rope, rare candy, PP up. We're finding a ton of good items here. Okay. Um. Okay, thanks, ladder. Troll. I'm not completely sure where I'm supposed to be going right now. Well, I am now by process of elimination, so... Thanks, process of elimination. I'm go down here. Oh, I'm fine with missing that item. Watch that be something extremely useful. God damn it. You let me down, process of elimination. Did 
Did I even go up this ladder? Yes, this is the troll ladder. <laughs> Maybe I just took the wrong route up the correct ladder then, because... That's all the upwards ladders. Okay, this is the only way to go from here. Down here. Not to the center platform, because I already went there. Is it really going to make me guess? This is what annoys me in puzzles. 50-50 chances. They're so annoying. Here we go. This looks right. Okay. Max potion. Pretty good. Again, with the good items. Heart gold players are spoiled. Okay, let's get that item because it's easy. I'm sorry for the texture warping that's going on. I'm sure it's just the emulator, but it is kind of hard to look at. Set up here. And these look like warp panels. Those are a puzzle that I despise. Again, those qualify as puzzles, because you can use the process of elimination to figure out what takes you where and all that, but... This is just a bad puzzle. Oh my god. Super repels are so cost effective compared to max repels, but it just... Those 50 extra steps that a max repel gets you are so nice. this. Full restore. Pretty good. We already have like 20 of those though, so. Oh, a ladder. That looks promising. A poorly put together wood plank bridge. That also looks promising. Before going on, I recommend you save. I will do so now. A wild ho -Oh appeared. ho -Oh is a crazy looking Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know much about how Ho-Oh plays. I've never seen it used competitively, it's not something I've ever used in my own time, and all I really know about it is that it's a fire flying type with pressure for an ability, and it has decent bulk and a surprisingly good attack stat for something that learns a surprisingly large amount of special moves. It's a weird one. Even the design is a little crazy. It's a very well put together design, and my artwork isn't really showing anything completely special about it. The sprite does that better, but... Yeah, I don't have much to say about Ho-Oh, it's just a cool looking legendary. Uh, I'm sure it's a good one too, because it's a legendary. All legendaries are good in their own way, so... If you're short a Pokémon, and you don't have a fire or flying type, go right ahead. ho -Oh will do its job well. Starts off with a move called a uh, Sacred Fire. When it's used, it automatically thaws out the user if the user is frozen, and that's just a cool move. So, yeah. ho -Oh's not bad, though it's not a Pokémon I can claim to know a lot about. It does have really cool music, though, so go ahead and listen to that for a little bit. Are you fucking kidding me?
A legend says that its body glows in seven colors. A rainbow is said to form behind it when it flies. Why do I keep having such an easy time with legendary Pokemon? It's like, frustratingly, like... Frustratingly good. I'm not sure if you can fly from here. I don't think so. Oh, you can. Well, that's good. <sighs> mm, yeah, let's just head down, I guess. What do we got? Not deposit. It's holding a Sacred Ash, which is a max revive for the entire party. I don't use it that often. I guess if you're in a really tense situation and you need your entire party revived, go on. That's a decent enough nature. Sacred Fire is a great move to have. Punishment, eh. Ancient Power, eh. It does have that chance to raise all stats, so that's always good. Safeguard? Not something I'd put on a Pokemon, but if you want it on your ho, oh, then go ahead. This is the only Pokemon game I can think of off the top of my head where you can actually catch both games' version exclusive Pokemon. So, yeah, that's really cool to me. Um, well, you know, it feels pretty bad to be ending an episode already, but sometimes things just go too well. So next time on Pokemon Soul Silver, we still have more Pokemon to go catch, and we will be doing that. So I'll see you guys then.